library alongside his wife, Barbara. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, Washington. Here at home, wall-to-wall -wall coverage of today's state funeral prompted many to stop and reflect on how times have changed, how politics has changed since President Bush's election 30 years ago this month. He visited the Champlain Valley several times in the 80s and 90s as a candidate and as vice president and president. Many observers noting that Mr. Bush, a member of the greatest generation, was ambitious but avoided bragging about himself. The difficulty we have in this sort of um, dog-eat-dog -dog political world is that that type of humility and belief in public service is becoming increasingly viewed as antiquated. And it's not clear that our political system will allow you to survive. I mean, it's just sort of, we eat our own. Middlebury analyst Matt Dickinson calls President Trump the antithesis of Bush, who has friends across Congress and among leaders around the world. Former Governor Jim Douglas of Vermont weighs in on the late president tonight at 6.